Hi, welcome to naming binary covalent compounds. For the covalent nomenclature, we will only deal with binary compounds, two elements. The reason being that covalent nomenclature gets incredibly complex when you start adding three or more elements into a compound. Um, as it is, we have to remember that for a covalent compound, the basic unit is a molecule. And remember, a molecule, the formula for a molecule, tells you exactly how many and what element you have in that molecule. Now, the name has to tell us the same thing, has to tell us how many and what element. Well, the way we do that, instead of using the um, ratios the way ionic does and using the charges, because we have no charges, we're sharing electrons now, we use these prefixes over here. So what I have here is mono, di, tri, tetra, penta, hexa, hepta, octa, nona, deca. These are your prefixes, one through 10, okay? You need to know those, you need to make sure that you memorize them. Those are also gonna help you to recognize that you have a covalent compound, okay? So let's go ahead and jump in and name one. This is one most of you probably already know what the name is, but again, let's follow through our rules and figure out why and how we use those prefixes, why it is called what it's called. So first thing you have to do, question number one, is it ionic or covalent? Well, I have a non-metal with a non-metal that makes it covalent. Knowing that it's covalent, I don't need to ask the other questions because the other questions pertain to ionic compounds only. So now that I know that it's covalent, all I have to do is name it and tell how many, okay? One of the things that's very similar to ionic is the second element gets the IDE ending like as if it were an anion, even though it's not, all right? But you're already used to that from ionic. So what do I have here? I have a carbon and I have an oxygen, but it gets the IDE ending, so oxide. The only difference is I recognize that this is a molecule. I have to say how many. So I have one carbon and two oxides, well, dioxide. Now, there is a little bit of a change here because when your first element has only one, we actually don't write the mono. We just write the name of the element. The fact that you wrote the name of the element says you have to have one. But the second element, even if you only have one, you still have to say that it has one. For example, this compound. Question number one, is it ionic or covalent? Non-metal with a non-metal, it's covalent. So now, name my elements. I have a carbon and an oxide. I have one carbon, so I'm just gonna say carbon. And I have one oxide, monoxide. Now that double O looks kind of weird and can sometimes be hard to say. So a lot of times you will see that double O, one of them gets dropped and then it just becomes carbon monoxide. And up here, carbon dioxide saying one carbon and two oxides.
be sure and watch the next video in which we will learn how to go from a name to a formula.